you love Horizon Forbidden West and you want to make sure you're getting the full fidelity experience. You got your TV ready, your fantastic OLED display ready, your rig is cranked up to max and you're about to enjoy your game. You turn on high dynamic range for the full fidelity experience because it makes the game look even more amazing. But hold on there a second. It looks good, but not as good as it should. And for most people, it will look fine until you turn on an analyzer and realize the max luminance is not what it's supposed to be. It's capped at 300 nits. Basically, the luminance slider in the HDR settings is busted. Why? You're gonna have to ask the developer for that one. But we are the PC gaming community. That means we're not gonna be taking this lying down. No, we got fantastic modders and we're gonna give thanks to Ersh. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But the important part is he developed a mod that essentially fixes the broken slider in Horizon Forbidden West. So you can properly set your luminance and then it will actually work. Of course, I tested this with an analyzer before and after and it does work. Is it complicated? Is it hard to do? Should I do it myself? But of course you should. You're a PC gamer, right? Right? All you need to do is head on over to Nexus Mods and yes, the link will be in the description down below. Download the thing, paste it into the game's original install folder and you're done. You simply launch your game and then you calibrate your game properly. Now about that calibration, you shouldn't really use the in-game calibration image because apparently that's busted. It doesn't reach the proper luminance value. So just pick a nice spot in the game that you get to see the sun, you get to see a darker place, essentially a place where you can calibrate the shadows and bright highlights at the exact same time, but in game, not the actual little picture. Now, given that you might be thinking that the dev is sleeping on the job, preposterous but actually they already came out with a hotfix. It just doesn't address the things we already talked about. It fixes, however, the performance regression when using DualSense controller wirelessly and missing prompts when connecting a controller after starting a game. Oh yeah, I'm thinking they already had this baby in the pipeline, but there you go, you already do have a fix for certain issues. Thumbs up for that one. Now I'm hopeful, ever so hopeful that the developer will see reason and fix the HUD in the 21 by nine aspect ratio and the 32 by nine aspect ratio. Those are ultra wide, and super ultra wide, or was it mega ultra wide? Anyway, the one that is like this big. Basically, the problem with ultra wide and super ultra wide is the fact that the HUD is in the 16 by nine position, which is terrible for immersion. And don't tell me they don't know this. They do know this because they did place it in the right position with Horizon Zero Dawn, the initial game in the series. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malaysia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And subscribe for more Horizon Zero Dawn things and gaming things.